Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube learning channel Accurate ASME ISO. This video is second part of the last video where we discuss the effect of temperature on the CMM machine axis and its structure. In this part, let us discuss the effect of temperature on the measuring part for its expansion and contraction behavior. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share others to learn. Let us begin now. The summary of last video is that minimum 4 to 5 hours of time is necessary to thermally stabilize the CMM machine after the switching on of the air conditioning in the room. This means when you switch on the air conditioning after 4 to 5 hours, you can start doing the measurement. The objective of this video is understanding the temperature effect on dimensional measurement. A similar experiment as previous is carried to know the temperature effect on dimensional measurements of the manufactured part. In this video, let us try to understand that how much time the manufactured component need to soak in the CMM room environment. The measurement accuracy is not guaranteed unless the measuring part is fully reached to its thermal equilibrium. The component shown in the photograph is used for the experiment. It is of aluminum casting and machined. Please remember that thermal expansion coefficient index of aluminum material is 23 micrometers per meter per degree centigrade. Selection of the test piece The experiment carried out is discussed here step by step. Very first, we chose a component as shown in the photograph. The overall dimensions of the part Length is 375 mm approximately, breadth 150 mm and the height is 100 mm approximate. Soaking of the test piece. The central theme of this experiment is to bring the part from the machine shop after machining into the CMM room and evaluate the temperature soaking time. To replicate the process in this experiment, test piece was kept in the ambient temperature outside the CMM room, exposed to normal environmental conditions. The part was allowed to get soaked at least 4 hours of the time period before taking inside the CMM room to start the measurement. Test piece was protected from exposing to the direct sunlight and other unwanted things like dust, water, moisture, etc. Measuring the part temperature After soaking the part for 4 hours in the outside environment, it brought inside the CMM room. To record the acquired temperature of the part, measurement of temperature is done. It is at two places as shown in the photograph. Two sensors kept inside the two holes touching the body surfaces. The display unit shows the temperature of each sensor. Average temperature is taken as beginning part temperature as 32 degree centigrade. CMM room. The CMM room was maintained with controlled environmental conditions of 20 degree centigrade temperature plus minus 1 degree centigrade. Before bringing the part inside the CMM room, the machine was already stabilized for more than 7 to 8 hours in the environment. The room temperature observed was 20.4 degree centigrade just before the starting of the measurement program on the test component. Measuring the part on CMM. 
the cnc program was run and put into the continuous loop cycle to repeat the measurements the results are recorded for linear and angular sizes in x y and z direction Recording the results of measurement. Measurement cycles were continued until the results were observed constant and stabilized. The tabular report shows the number of times the cycle run and the measurement results observed. For example, the distance 371.049 first time measured is 371. Point zero three three six. In the second run, it dropped down to three seventy one point zero two three six, and further it measured in the repeat column three, column four, column five, and column six until the results are satisfied for the repeat and the stabilization. The photograph. at this corner shows the dimension 371 mm measured along the y axis the graph indicate that the measurement started at 4 pm when the part temperature was 32 degrees it is the first reading measured immediately after bringing the part from outside environment to the cmm room the measuring program cycle time of component was 17 minutes approximately in the second measurement the dimensional value drastically dropped to 371.0336 mm from 371.0549 mm the difference calculated as about 21 micrometers in further measurement cycles values were dropping very slower the last couple of measurement found more stable and repeated if we accept these values as confirm values then total time taken to reach this stabilization condition was almost of 2 hours of time this stabilization time is considered as thermal stabilization time or temperature soaking time for the said component in this graph measure dimension 312 mm is in diagonal direction comprising the x and y axis measurement the second reading dropped down by 27 micrometer please note that the dimension 371 mm in y axis dropped by 21 micrometers as discussed in the last slide whereas diagonal dimension 312 mm dropped by 27 micrometer what it shows it shows that there is not any direct proportionality relation for the part dimensions but on the feature and its characteristics measured feature sizes shapes locations with the datums are critically important in this case in this graph measure dimension 124.4 mm is in the x axis the second reading dropped down by about 9 micrometers In this graph, measure dimension 47.5 mm is in the x-axis. The second reading dropped down by only 4 micrometers. Please note that the dimension 126 mm is in x-axis dropped by 9 micrometer. 
वेर एज फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मिलीमीटर डायमेंशन ड्रॉप बाय फोर माइक्रोमीटर्स वेन वी एनालाइज इट कैन बी ऑब्जर्व दैट इन द सेम डिरेक्शन वैल्यूज आर मोर और लेस लिटल प्रोपोर्शनल टू द लेंथ मेजर In this graph, measured dimension 92.5 mm is in vertical direction z axis. The second reading dropped down by about 19 micrometer. The important point to note here is in the first drop it was very large and sharp sudden and further it quickly gets stabilized. Therefore, measurement drop is not direct proportional to the length and the direction it means that the stabilization time cannot be calculated offline for a given part it was very interesting to understand the graph the angle between two planes 35 degrees not changed at all throughout the measurement and more or less entire cycles are well repeated conclusions drawn from the experiment after bringing the component from external environment to the cmm environment the first reading of measurement shows very much differentiated than the subsequent further measurements dimensional reading stabilization are not in direct proportional to the length size and direction of axis measurement but depends on the feature types feature sizes feature locations with the datum characteristics measured and temperature penetration or absorption rate soaking time is depend on the temperature difference of cmm room and the machine shop or external ambient condition where part soaked and stored a note temperature effect on dimensional measurements of different materials it is important to note that expansion and contraction is different for different type of materials therefore stabilization time also varies accordingly the thermal characteristics of the material determine the change in length per meter and per degree temperature different material indexes are aluminum 23 micrometer per degree centigrade per meter length steel 11.6 micron ceramic 6 micron glass 4 micron granite 6 to 7.5 microns one more important point to understand and should not be mistaken that since aluminum is almost double than the steel therefore we cannot conclude that the time soaking required for the aluminum is double than the steel or half of the steel or the vice versa challenges using temperature sensors on the work pieces to compensate distribution of the temperature throughout the body is not uniform because size and volume of the work piece homogeneity of the material exposure to the temperature and air flow which called as temperature gradient complexity of the feature forms or the shapes material response of the work piece to the temperature change per unit area and per unit time uncertainty in the thermal coefficient of expansion factor uncertainty of the temperature sensors and mountings on the surfaces the complex part shapes as shown in the photographs are very much difficult to compensate for the temperature because the deformation of the structure in volumetric is always remain unpredictable whereas temperature compensation is only applied in linear direction of the axis 
hope that you like this video please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share it to others for training inquiry please find the contact details on the slide thank you friends take care bye for this time see you soon for the next video thank you once again Hi, I'm Swapnil Bhakre from Tool Design Department, Bosch Limited, working with Bosch Limited from last six years. I'm here for uh, attending a GDNT training. Uh, we have the, some doubts regarding the, the GDNT symbols because we are uh, daily uh, daily work. We are actually facing a number of problems related to constant roundness and this type of symbols. So we are we are here for that. Uh, about the training, the training is very good. The good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sandeep Kalwa again. I'm working in Bosch uh, in tool room department. Uh, we are uh, on shop floor manufacturing for gauges. It's uh, this topic is very relevant, and uh, we just learn the tolerances, variety of tolerances like position tolerance, form tolerance, orientations tolerance, profile tolerance. So, so that uh, this knowledge, which will help to solve the problems on shop floor, guiding the associates, and uh, thank you.